before we get started, I want to shout out our sponsors here on the BCP. As always, the BCP is brought to you by our favorite store, Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore, located online and at the English Town Flea Market in English Town, New Jersey, on Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Blue Building. Get your wrestling stuff, retro video games, G.I. Joe's, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. It's our favorite store. Thank you, Heather and Dan, for sponsoring the show. Please welcome in our new sponsor, Mania Club. Established in 2015, Mania Club is a WWE-recognized community for fans with an eclectic love for both the world of professional wrestling and raising money for Connor's Cure. During WrestleMania weekend, we host the official tailgate of WrestleMania while also celebrating the life of Connor McCauley. They're the single largest donor within the V Foundation for Connor's Cure with over 150,000 raised. Please donate and join the Facebook group over at Mania Club. Donate at jimmyv.org slash Mania Club. BCP is also sponsored by the No Gimmicks Podcast, the pro wrestling podcast that keeps it 100% real 100% of the time. The No Gimmicks Podcast is available wherever you get your podcasts. Shout out, Kelvin. Check out the No Gimmicks Podcast. Wrestling All Day, All Night is the best wrestling discussion group on Facebook. We provide more of a community feel here and have wrestling fans introduce other fans to something they may have not seen before, such as old school wrestling, indie wrestling, Japanese wrestling, and more. We also strive to be a source for information regarding upcoming wrestling meet and greets and signings. And remember, we're open 24-7, all day, all night. Be sure to follow on socials and join the group on Facebook at Wrestling All Day, All Night. BCP is also sponsored by Warriors of Wrestling. Warriors of Wrestling returns to Brooklyn, New York on Saturday, January 6th, featuring former WWE superstars Mace and Mansoor. Also featuring Darius Carter, Joe Acasio, Angel Metro, Vicious Vicky, TJ Marconi, and a whole lot more. Get your tickets now at warriorsofwrestling.com. And don't forget to subscribe to some great matches over on the Warriors of Wrestling YouTube channel. Please welcome in our new sponsors, the Sweet Chin Musings Podcast. Sweet Chin Musings is the creation of the reigning, rarely defending, highly disputed champion of wrestling podcast, Mr. Perfect Mike Mueller and his tag team partner in crime, Luke Kudialis. SCM focuses on the in-ring product of WWE and AEW. No dirt sheet rumors here, as well as backstage news, predictions, and analysis of characters, storylines, and major pay-per-views. Old school fans, don't worry, we have you covered too with a look back on classic matches, top 10 lists, and interactive tournaments that let the fans decide who is truly the best of all time. You can find us on Facebook at Sweet Chin Musings, and be sure to check out the podcast on all your favorite podcast major streaming platforms. We also got to shout out our new sponsors, the United States Department of Nerds, the USDN Podcast, a podcast presented by Dat Feeling Podcast Network, LLC. The USDN Podcast is run by Jeffrey T. Fountain, a BCP Plus contributor, Jennifer Johnson, Eric Johnson, and Tay Stitt, and is also home to the Queens of Nerdum Podcast. USDN Podcast is a safe place for all nerds where they can come to be entertained, learn, and embrace debate. USDN prides itself on being by the people for the people and of the people. Here at the USDN, we strive to bring you the best content we can find where you know it comes with the USDN seal of approval. We always strive to give you factual data. If it's a rumor, we'll always preface it with the rumor alert before dropping the fresh info. However, once those rumors are proven true, you can bet your money. We at USDN are slamming the stamp down and giving it the USDN seal of approval. Hit our links on social media for all our merch. This ad is USDN approved. BCP is now sponsored by the international shining star, Ray Kalitri. Kalitri has honed his craft traveling and wrestling all over the world, including destinations such as Mexico, Peru, Puerto Rico, and even Egypt. The ISPW Tri-State Champion and Golden Ticket Holder is also one of the longest reigning ECPW light heavyweight champions in history. Kalitri also holds an international championship that he won in Mexico. Always known for his appreciation of world culture, the Shiny Star is also known for his taste for high fashion, lavish lifestyle, and fast cars. However, he is most prominently known around the globe for his unparalleled in-ring acumen and skill set. Be sure to follow Ray Kalitri across the board on social media, at Kalitri Ray on Twitter, at PAP1Fresh on Instagram, and Ray Kalitri on Facebook. Guys, please welcome in our new pod sponsor for the show, GPW Productions. GPW provides your promotion or event with top-tier 
video and audio production, live streaming, and more. I can personally vouch for them in saying they're hands down the best production company I've ever worked with as they continue to work with the likes of AEW, GCW, StarCast, MLW, not to mention the majority of the local independent promotions here in the tri-state area. They can even help you film a vignette or promo for your persona or gimmick. And guess what? GPW doesn't just work in wrestling. They cover MMA, boxing, basketball, or any other sporting event as well. Guys, on a personal note, as always, I'd like to thank Mike Sesco, Frank Leone, O'Neill Andrews, and the team for giving me multiple opportunities to work with them and some of the best talent in the world. Book GPW for a promotion or event today at contact at gpwproductions.com. Once again, the BCP is sponsored by Pro Wrestling Magic. Pro Wrestling Magic presents Kingdom Come 8, 99 Red Balloons on Saturday, December 23rd at the Mecca, Ridgefield Park here in New Jersey. Get your tickets now or watch live on IWTV. Kingdom Come 8 features Darius Carter, Steve Pena, Steve Off. Kerr, Alex Ryman, Danny Moff, the notorious Mimi, the ruthless Lala, Vicious Vicky, Adina Steele, the rep, Death Row, and a whole lot more. Tune in on IWTV. Guys, I want to give a special shout out and thanks to our new December podcast sponsor, Key Nation, featuring our very own BCP and BCP Plus contributor, Mr. Wayne Keener. Make sure to follow Key Nation on TikTok and Instagram for great puns, memes, dad jokes, and random ridiculous content. Thank you, Wayne. Welcome in our new December sponsors for the BCP, DDE, Daddy Daughter Entertainment. Thank you, Chucky Diesel and Chloe Rain for sponsoring the show. Daddy Daughter Entertainment is all about family and being a fan of professional wrestling. It's my favorite thing about this crazy business is seeing Chucky and Chloe at shows. And DDE right now are putting out some amazing content and special attraction matches. Thank you, DDE. Guys, last but not least, I want to shout out our new December sponsor, Chop City Wrestling. Chop City Wrestling is where our pal Ryan Stenifer takes chops from wrestlers and donates $20 to Connor's Cure for every chop he takes. Follow his adventures on his YouTube channel for all those chops and some great pro wrestling content for a great cause. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, Ryan, for sponsoring the BC. Yo, listen, it's Platinum Max. Part of the acclaim, the Platinum Playboy, best wrestler alive, and you are rocking with the Bob Culture Podcast. Yo, listen, Platinum on the mic, and I'm coming for your ass. I'm listening to the Bob Culture Podcast, and I think it's the hottest show in the game, because them and everybody loves the acclaim. Now, scissor me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, back here on the BCP with, well, someone we know very well from Pro Wrestling Magic. He is a former Pro Wrestling Magic tag team champion, a former Pro Wrestling Magic world, tag team world I'm sorry, Alex, uh, a former Pro Wrestling Magic world dark arts champion. World dark arts champion. Because you defended it all over the world. I have both belts. You're welcome, Pro Wrestling Magic. Wow. And guys, uh, right now, I mean, you have a big opportunity against... Dan Moff, we'll get into that in a little bit, to win the keys to the kingdom, man. What an opportunity that would be. Please welcome back to the show, The Revolver, Alex Ryman. Welcome back. Applause for you, sir. How are you, Alex? I'm so happy to see you, Rob. I missed you. It, it was a long night without you. I was really worried. You didn't call? You didn't text? I, I, I had another obligation. And I'm sorry. And I, pr- I really did appreciate the concern. Thank you, Alex. I know, I know you have a lot of bigger things to worry about. I appreciate that, man. Like I always ask, first and foremost, um, it's been a roller coaster of a year for you, Alex. Like I always ask right out the gate, how are you? How are you feeling? A lot of momentum right now. I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> things couldn't be better. Okay. I finally get to close out a chapter in Dan Moff's career. Did you... Uh, did you see my little Christmas gift to him? I, I, I did. I watched it back and a uh, little back and forth between you and Danny Muff. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys watch on IWTV, you know what's, should we show him? You know what's in that bag. And I don't know if this is a good idea. Danny boy. <laughs> 20 feet of steel chain. 
connected by a dog collar. All year I've been hanging around his neck like an albatross, <laughs> tightening my grip. I mean, do you just carry that around with you, Alex? I mean, we, we saw you carrying that around at the Kingdom Inn. I'm I, I just going to get right to it. I said this for you, Alex. I said this to you in the past, man. Is it smart to poke the bear? We know Danny Moff. I mean, right now going for Indie Male Superstar of the Year over our awards. You could very well be nominated as well, but I feel like you need to defeat Danny Moff for that to happen. And that being said, man... I don't know if that's a good idea to even what you're doing right now, man. Do you think that's smart to provoke Danny Moff like this? I haven't died yet, have I, Rob? No. no. I'll give you that. You know why? Because I live in his head. Rent free. Did you see what he said after Magic went off air? Uh, that I did not see. I did not see after. Off air, no. He grabbed the mic. And Danny Boy said that on December 23rd, I dance with the devil. He said he's going to make me bleed. He said he's going to make me wish I was never born. Danny, life's already beat you to that last part. (laughs) But what Dan doesn't know is that a dance with the devil, that lasts forever. You seem very excited about this match Alex and again I've I've shared my thoughts with you man you know I really think Danny Moff is going to push you to your limits in fact let's start here man why the infatuation with Moff why Moff of all people because I need it I need it like I need to breathe you don't understand for nine years I've toiled away with nothing to show for it I have toiled away with nothing to show for it. I need this match like I need to breathe. I need to solidify my legacy. And if I need to build that legacy on the broken back of Dan Moff's career, I'll fucking do it. Danny, I saw something in your eyes. Fear. For once, the Bayonne badass is scared. Because not only did we go to war back in June, but I kicked out of the burning hammer, Danny. (laughs) After not one, not two, but three pile drivers and a burning hammer, and you still couldn't take me out. No, you had to put my crown of thorns. you You don't need to bring those, Alex. You don't. You don't need those. We don't need. We're just doing an interview, Alex. We're just, I. I appreciate the. Danny, you put that crown of thorns upon my head, and you struck me with a chair, embedding the crown into my head. And then, and only then were you able to pin me. But go back and watch the tape. Danny won the match, but this war has mentally exhausted him, and that's what I saw. That's what I saw last week. I saw mental exhaustion because I'm living in his head rent-free. He thinks about me when he goes to sleep at night. I just know it. I just know it. He wants to rid himself of the cancer that is Alex Ryman, but unfortunately for him, I'm I'm a malignant tumor. Festering, growing, killing him from the inside. December 23rd, kingdom come. Keys to the kingdom. I finished the job. Okay, and I appreciate the intensity, man. I know you need to bring that. In fact, I appreciate that, you know, maybe Moff is a guy that you need to, you know, you need to fight people who have been doing this for a while and a win over Moff would, would, mean, a, would mean a lot. Why... Why a dog collar? Do you know what you do when you put a dog collar? We don't have to go here. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Why do you ask? I, I, I withdraw my... what I was going to say. I withdraw my... Qu- I don't want to go there, man. I, I don't want to go there. I have a brand new puppy. I love him very much. I don't, I don't want to go there, man. I love him very... I love him very much. Dog. But if that dog was suffering, if that dog was dying, and you had the choice... To put him down or let him suffer. What do you do? What do you do? I would 
would do whatever's best for him. I, I love that dog. Whatever's best for him, right? Whatever's best for him. I love that dog. You knew that you couldn't save him. What's his name? What's his name? It's Champ. Champ. It's Champ. Champ. Yeah. If Champ was dying, if every day he looked at you in those eyes, he just suffered, and he looked dead behind those eyes, because that's what I saw. I don't want to remember Danny like this. I want to remember him like the Bayonne badass he is. But he's been dead behind those eyes for a long time. So I, I, this year I've given him everything he's ever wanted. A Bayonne street fight. I gave him his match. His type of violence. I let him go out on top. For that he'll always be thankful for me. And now... There's one more match... That Danny Sanana I miss with. And it's this right here. This chain. It's not just a chain. It's the pen. And the blood is our ink. And the canvas will create art. Unfortunately for some, art is abstract. Abstract. Beauty is in the... Yeah, you yeah. Yeah. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And we will create something beautiful. But unfortunately for Danny, this is the end of the line. And I have to if I have to tighten this thing until he can what? You don't need to do that. It's not it, we're just talking before them. I just uh, I appreciate the intensity. I I just don't Okay. No, no, man. I just wanted to hurt you. You got a big match coming up, man. I, I appreciate the intensity, man. Let's let's switch let's switch gears a little bit. Let's tone it down, all right? I, Alex, let me ask you this, man. It's our it's our year end awards. Let's talk about something happy, man. All right? and, and I appreciate the intensity. I appreciate the focus. I know what a win over Moff would mean for you, or, or this win particularly over Moff would mean to you. But that being said, it's our year end awards. We're coming up on twenty twenty four. I mean, what does it mean to you when I tell you, hey, like the feud between you and Moff? Feud of the Year nominee. Um, the matches between you and Moff. Some Match of the Year nominations as well for you. Man, from the journalist's perspective, man, take take the feelings out of it, man. Does that? And I know you're focused on a goal right now. Does that mean anything to you, like those accolades? The ends will always justify the means in my mind. If I get the ending that I desire, then yes. The answer to your question is yes. Then it was all worth it. But if by some stroke of luck, Danny does survive and pins me one, two, three with my shoulders to the mat. I, I don't know. This is, this is all or nothing. Everything in my career has worked up to this moment. If I can't beat Danny, maybe I just don't have it. This is the final test for me. Everything I've ever wanted. It's been nine years. I've never been on TV. I've never done anything of importance. If I lose this, I've lost everything. And I didn't mean to get you emotional, Alex. And I can see how much this means to you, man. I'm, I'm trying to make things a little bit brighter. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, man. You talk about, you know, and there's a lot of that finish the story talk going around in this business, man. That being said, I know how important this is to you. Say you do win those keys to the kingdom, man. You have to. And I know, focus on the short-term goals, but you have to have your eyes on that Pro Wrestling Magic World Heavyweight Championship. What would that mean to you? It's the final piece. It's the final piece of the Pro Wrestling Magic Holy Grail, that Triple Crown. Now granted, I won't be the first to complete the Triple Crown, but I will do it and hold it with the most reverence. I will do it and me make it mean the most. I've defended two of those three titles, the Dark Arts in Germany. I defended the World Tag Team titles in England. No thanks to Steve Off. I didn't want to go there. But you know what? That's behind me now. That's behind me. Now let's look to the future. Keys to the kingdom. 
if I'm being honest, if and when I do win this match, I'm not holding on to it long. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, as soon as the moment's right, and it doesn't even have to be in a pro wrestling magic ring, whoever holds that belt keeps their head on a swivel because I will strike when the iron is hot. I've sat and watched other men hold that key and just wait and wait and wait. Pena cashed in, but it took an entire group to win. I don't know if you want to ruffle their feathers. They don't like me either, Alex. I don't know if you want to ruffle their feathers. What's their issue with you? No, Hispanic, they just don't, they typically Why? don't like, I don't, I don't know. Why? I, they, they what think they I'm, say? I don't know. Trey tells me to trim my nose hairs. They think I'm bad at my job. They, they, sometimes they push me around a little bit. Push you around. Yeah, it's not, I'm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. It's not. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. I'm sorry. Let's let's move on. No, 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 let's no, move no, on. no, no. It's it's fine. Spanos Unidos, they're they're killing it right now in the kingdom right now. And you have a big task ahead of you against Danny Ma. Focus on that. I didn't mean to bring that. We'll we'll talk about that in another time. Just let me know. I, I appreciate you. I, let me know. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. Thank you, Alex. Let's talk about this, man. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And a lot of a lot of people wonder what is this connection between you and I, and you know why am I so comfortable showing emotion around you? I'm, I'm wondering that myself because in the past I've asked about your your support system, and and I appreciate you your concern for me and confiding me and even taking the time to do this interview. Here's the thing. You're the only one that's ever truly cared about me in pro wrestling magic. Steve Off and I, we were thick as thieves, but there's no honor amongst them. We, we were a business transaction, that was it. I never looked at Steve like a brother. Even kill the magic. As soon as, as soon as we got what we needed, John Tella turned on me. Stephen J. Higgins turned his back on the American Murder Society. I knew it was only a matter of time before Steve Off did the same thing to me. So what did I do? When he was of no use, when he could no longer get the job done, I turned my back on him. Now look at him. Running around with two goofs as manager. One so ugly he has to hide behind a mask. I'm not talking about Smiley. And look at me, about to take what is rightfully mine, my seat at the throne, the Pro Wrestling Magic Heavyweight Title, 2024, I'm taking everything that is mine. And for once, I have someone that truly cares about me. I love you, Rob. I, I appreciate that, Alex. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, man. And, and thank you for doing this. Thank you for a few minutes. Obviously, I do want to mention you will be making your ISPW uh, debut this coming year as well, man. Very excited for that, man. Um, and thank you for confiding in me. Thank you for taking a few minutes, Alex, out of your day to sit down and talk. Um, I'm just going to say this, man. You know, we usually do the shameless promo here, guys. Obviously, follow Alex on socials. But I do want to say just continue success. Just going in against the likes of Danny Moff. Good luck. Um, just be careful. Be careful, Alex, and best of luck moving forward. TikTok, Danny. TikTok.